Continuing coverage, Mayor Brandon Scott announcing last December, if you remember, that cars provided to Baltimore City workers must be zero emission by the year 2030. This morning, taxpayer watchdog OpenTheBooks.com is looking into what has now happened in the nine months since that announcement was made. We have investigative journalist Jeremy Portnoy joining us live to weigh in. Jeremy, good morning. Good morning, Megan. How are you? Doing well. So what are you finding on this? Is the city making progress on that plan? Well, since Mayor Scott made that announcement, the city's actually spent $30 million repairing their fleet equipment that they already had that emits carbon. So they're not going to be able to use that by 2030. They're still spending money on repairing it. We spent another $33 million buying more vehicles for their fleet. Same thing. Most of those are gas-powered, carbon-emitting. They're spending money on them. Won't be usable by 2030. Interesting. Jeremy, I, I guess the question then is how do those numbers compare to, to last year before the city's plan to, to buy more electric vehicles? So that's actually where it gets crazy. They've actually increased their spending now really? buying gas-powered vehicles as opposed to last year before this announcement. Uh, so last year, for example, they spent less than $2 million at a company called Maryland Industrial Trucks. Uh -huh. This year they spent over $5 million. Their spending on pumping gasoline has gone up slightly compared to last year, about $5.2 million to $5.5 million. Out of curiosity, how many gasoline-powered cars does the city own that, that will eventually need to be replaced? That's actually been a year-long fight between Open the Books and the city. We filed a records request back in January asking them how many gas-powered cars you have, how many electric vehicles, how much progress are you making. They ignored our records request for months, then finally sent us a spreadsheet listing only 12 cars. So we've been trying to follow up with them to get the rest of the data. They haven't returned about four or five emails over the past few months. Jeremy, you guys do investigations all over the country. Is this a plan, an initiative that other cities are, are working on implementing? So we have, we've definitely seen some other cities trying to transition to electric vehicles, but they're all being more transparent than Baltimore is, right? Baltimore, we're considering filing a lawsuit because they won't answer that records request explaining how much they spent. We know they spent $5 million this year buying Teslas. Uh, that's already been allocated. But we asked them, what other electric vehicles have you bought? They're ignoring that freedom of information request. And in my mind now, trying to figure out why they would want to hide that information, not reveal it, that, you know, it, it's public, public records, correct? It is. We, like I said, we sent that email back in January. Yeah. I emailed them again this week asking for comment on this story. No reply. Very interesting. All right. Well, again, time is ticking. They've got until 2030 if they're going to follow through with this plan. Please keep us posted uh, if you guys do get a response. Yeah, we definitely will. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Jeremy.